Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your weekly lecture video. So I'm beginning this video um, just doing a little bit of housekeeping. I call it housekeeping all the time, taking care of business here. I um, just wanted to point out and emphasize that the discussion boards 1 through 10 and the future of writing assignment uh, will close uh, for submission on Tuesday the 28th. I, pray, I generally have a practice of closing down earlier assignments uh, as we move toward the end of the semester. This does prevent an onslaught of submissions. Um, it's a way to just manage my workload and uh, my holiday mental health. I think it's an important process here. So I will continue to uh, close down assignments and discussion boards as we move toward the end of the semester. So I want to point that out. Uh, jumping to this week's real lecture video, um, uh, we have discussion board 16 due uh, Friday. I have not looked at any of the um, discussion board posts yet for exercise 4.3. I will do that in the next couple of days and respond. So one thing I do want to mention here about the connecting and synthesizing uh, discussion board post and working with some source material, either from your double entry journal, hopefully from your annotated bibliography. I am just looking for you to use some um, source information, some quotes or paraphrases from your uh, research uh, to build the uh, discussion board post here. And the reason for this is if you uh, take a look in chapter four, writing with sources, the synthesizing sources in the moves writer makes are is really an important section to take a look at. And I want to cover this prior to the first draft. I think it's really important as you get ready to draft the first draft of the research essay that will be due, uh, I believe, on the 28th as to how to not only uh, report on or share the information from your sources, but actually how can you put those sources in conversation with each other? You, I, as, you run, as you review your source material, let's just say as you read it, what happens is, is that you will notice some connections between your sources across the different categories, but they are, um, they are some, there are some connections there. And the idea here is, is to look for that information and how do you analyze or interpret, uh, interpret uh, summarize, um, question, okay, support, explain, observe. All of those necessary processes are really critical in creating a conversation about your topic. A research essay is not a collection of your source material. That's already been written and done in the annotated bibliography. The research essay is where you take that information, you combine it with your thinking, your analysis, your interpretation, and you use it to support that thinking. I cannot stress that enough uh, in the research essay writing uh, process. Ballinger talks uh, at length about how to synthesize your sources. Also, um, Talks about handling quotes. Um, hopefully everybody can get through this section. Chapter 4 is really has a lot of information. And I will return to some of the information in Chapter 4 as we move forward over the next uh, couple of weeks. All right. Talks about active blending, passive blending. Okay. Some of the problems uh, that we encounter as instructors with uh, research essays. So um, I'm really uh, emphasizing this particular section on how to control your quotations, the limits behind quotations, and using it in your uh, research essay. You know, there generally is a limit of how much quotes you can use in a research essay. So the place where you get that discussion, and, or I should say that beginning, is building these quote sandwiches and working on synthesizing and drawing connections between your sources. So I hope that this uh, lecture video will help clarify this particular post and what the purpose is of this. Um, so um, if you have any questions or issues, please send me an email. Good luck.